DIY House Painting Techniques to Keep Your Home Colorful During the Christmas Holidays 2021 Roman Saturnalia Saturnalia was an ancient Roman festival in honor of the deity Saturn. Held on December 17th of the Julian calendar and later expanded with festivities through December 23rd. The holiday was celebrated with a sacrifice at the Temple of Saturn in the Roman Forum and a public banquet followed by private gift-giving, continual partying and a carnival atmosphere that overturned Roman social norms, gambling was permitted and masters provided table service for their slaves. The poet Catullus called it the best of days. Feast of the Nativity, Christmas and Advent wreath and Christmas pyramid adorn a dining table. The earliest source stating December 25th as the date of birth of Jesus was Hippolytus of Rome, 170 c. 236, written very early in the 3rd century, based on the assumption that the conception of Jesus took place at the spring equinox which he placed on March 25th, to which he then added nine months. There is historical evidence that by the middle of the 4th century, the Christian churches of the East celebrated the birth and baptism of Jesus on the same day, on January 8th, while those in the West celebrated a nativity feast on December 25th, perhaps influenced by the winter solstice, and that by the last quarter of the 4th century, the calendars of both churches included both feasts. The earliest suggestions of a feast of the baptism of Jesus on January 6 during the 2nd century comes from Clement of Alexandria, but there is no further mention of such a feast until 361, when Emperor Julian attended a feast on January 6 that year. In the Christian tradition, the Christmas season is a period beginning on Christmas Day, December 25. In some churches for example, the Lutheran churches and the Anglican Communion, the season continues through Twelfth Night, the day before the Epiphany, which is celebrated either on January 6th or on the Sunday between January 2nd and 8th. In other churches for example, the Roman Catholic Church, it continues until the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, which falls on the Sunday following the Epiphany, or on the Monday following the Epiphany if the Epiphany is moved to January 7th or 8th. If the Epiphany is kept on January 6, the Church of England's use of the term Christmas season corresponds to the 12 days of Christmas and ends on Twelfth Night. The short Christmas season is preceded by Advent, which begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas Day, coinciding with the majority of the commercialized Christmas and holiday season. The Anglican Communion follows the Christmas season with an Epiphany season lasting until Candlemas, February 2nd, which is traditionally the 40th day of the Christmas Epiphany season. Meanwhile, in the Lutheran churches and the Methodist churches, Epiphany Tide lasts until the first day of Lent. Ash Wednesday Manufacturing Christmas Three Staples of Christmas in America, the Christmas card, Christmas tree lighting and even Christmas trees themselves, have their own histories of engineering, manufacturing and innovation. In and around 1860, Christmas cards were popular in the UK, but hadn't caught on here. While examples existed previously in the US, it wasn't until 1875 that they were a success, thanks to Louis Prang. Prang was, among other things, a writer on many subjects. It is said that he is remembered for the Prang method of art instruction, Prang's standards of color, and Prang's aids for objective teaching. He's also considered to be the father of the American Christmas card, as he perfected chromolithography, which used 36 lithographic plates to reproduce up to 32 colors in a single picture. This led to the ability to reproduce the richness of oil paintings on greeting cards and art prints. He also came up with the idea to have competitions for Christmas card designs June 1880. Christmas cards weren't always a throwaway. According to a reference in the December 31, 1881, Harper's Bazaar magazine, the American Christmas cards excel the imported cards this season, and many of them are framed and presented as separate gifts instead of merely a company at present. So, while the cards themselves weren't engineered, the unique equipment that manufactures them is certainly engineered. Apparently, Christmas lights came into play at about the same time as cards were popularized here in the U.S. Edward Johnson, as associate of Thomas Edison, electrically lit a Christmas tree for the first time in 1882. In 1895, the first electrically lighted Christmas tree was displayed in the White House. The year 1900 brought the earliest known advertisement for Christmas tree lamps placed by General Electric in the November 18th edition of Scientific American magazine. The ad mentioned that the bulbs could be either purchased or rented. The first commercially available lighting sets, hand-wired by the customer, 
were offered in 1901 but these were intended mainly for use in storefront windows. In the 1904-1905 timeframe GE offered the first pre-wired lights for Christmas trees. According to the timeline article referenced below, the outfits included miniature base GE Edison carbon filament lamps with prominent exhaust tips at the top of the glass envelopes. It is probable that the socket string, or festoon, was manufactured by the American Ever Ready Company. Most bulbs used through 1916 incorporated a carbon element at about this time. GE brought evenly burning, longer-lasting tungsten filament lamps into production. By 1920, GE offered for the first time a flame-shaped lamp with a tungsten filament, soon to become an industry standard and manufactured through the 1970s. The Infant Underwriters Laboratories first tested the then-established standards for American Christmas tree lighting strings. The UL safety designation quickly became an effective sales tool. In the 1920s, Japanese and highly detailed Austrian and German designs entered the market, the Japanese sets were machine-made and thus cheaper, so this type dominated the market for a few years. Lester Haft of the C.D. Wood Electric Company changed the way the world used Christmas tree lights in 1921, applying for a patent describing the use of existing styles of screw-in and bladed add-on connectors and their incorporation into a standard series wired lighting string of eight sockets. The patent application was carefully worded so as to include almost all possible ways of wiring the sets using the connectors. The key to the filing was that for the first time, easy-to-use connectors would be incorporated into Christmas lighting strings. Things got really interesting in 1959 when the Aluminum Specialty Company introduced the first aluminum Christmas tree to a somewhat confused public. As conductive aluminum trees and strings of electrical lights don't mix well, other ways were found to light the wildly popular trees. For example, base lighting with rotating color wheels kept the juice away from the dangerous part of the tree. The sales of string lighting took a nosedive, punching the tree lighting industry dead in the face while they were also struggling with, interestingly, offshore competition. By 1970, nearly all Christmas tree lights were foreign-made. Fast forward to the present, artificial trees are popular but they're no longer of the type that leave half of the manufacturing process to the customer. In a tree designed by Holiday Tree Trim Company, for example, manufactured branches are permanently strapped to the pole, trunk, for easy setup and storage, and, of course, the tree comes in sections. The company, which has been manufacturing Christmas trees for 40 years, makes a point of touting the fact that they're made in America, not in an overseas factory. Artificial Christmas trees are so official in the U.S. that they're included in Standard Industrial Classification, SIC, 3999. Also included here are Christmas tree ornaments, except electrical and glass. The category also includes such articles as beach umbrellas, floodwaters, lampshades, tear gas devices and equipment and, thankfully, wreaths. Artificial. As I check my watch, it occurs to me that perhaps I should get going with the Christmas card thing. I should also stop and get a tree. A real one, though small. And some reasonable decorations that don't require a home electrical service expansion. Keep your home colorful during the Christmas holidays 2021 A house is made with walls and beams. A home is built with love and dreams. So, what is a vibrant domestic made with? Maybe you can get the reply from magazines, websites or even from your friends' homes. There is a lot of sources to supply you with statistics about how can you hold your domestic colorful. In that spirit, right here are some guidelines to facilitate your choice when making your domestic colorful. Looking to spruce up your home in time for Christmas 2021? Then look no further at a festive facelift for your home with the help of the finest residential painters in Sydney. With professional tips to help you decide what is the best brush or other paint tools to use for which job, you'll be rocking around the Christmas tree with your beautiful new shiny home. Get inspired and get Christmas planning. You may additionally be stimulated via websites and magazines providing cutting-edge indoors graph tendencies and decide to paint your home through yourself. Color consultants can additionally be a source of your idea and motivation to undertake DIY residential painting. In addition, you may additionally think about talking to an expert house painter in your vicinity for expert pointers and suggestions. When planning to paint your home, there's a lot to consider. 
deciding on paint kinds and finishes, selecting brushes and rollers, and figuring out any areas that you don't desire to paint. This capacity you need to consider, planning what you have to purchase, planning what you need to do earlier than painting, planning what you need to do whilst painting, planning what you need to do after painting, Christmas purchases, planning. If you are not already committed to a color, you can check exceptional paints by way of portray a piece of foam board to see how light influences the color. Before shopping for the paint that you need to understand the square photos of the room you intend to paint. Generally, one gallon is considered adequate for every 450 square feet. Before applying color on your walls, you need to recognize whether the current shade is water-based or oil-based. Take a white cloth and alcohol then rub it on the wall. If the paint starts to switch on the cloth, it is water-based. It is higher to use eco-friendly paints for DIY residential painting as they have little to no risky organic chemical compounds, VOC, paint tools. For water-based paint use a brush with nylon or polyester bristles use natural bristles for oil-based paint for painting or window casings. Foam brushes are good. Use flag brushes for smooth and precise layers of paint. Use larger naps for heavy texture to reduce the number of coats needed and the amount of time spent. Before painting, clean the walls with soap and water and rinse with water as paint doesn't stick very well to dirty walls. Clean the ceilings before painting as well. Cover the floor with cloths or old sheets to protect from splatters and drips. Don't use plastics as they are slippery underfoot. You can mix all of your color cans together to ensure color consistency throughout the room. Fill holes with speckle. While painting, don't spend all your time taping everything. Buy a quality edger instead of painter's tape. Use an angled sash brush. Hold it like a pencil and paint the corners. Use a hammer and nail to punch holes in the paint can every inch or so, so that paint around the rim can drip back inside the can. After painting, when the paint is water-based, use soap and water to clean your brushes immediately after painting is complete. When the paint is oil-based, use a solvent such as paint thinner or mineral spirits to clean your brushes. Hang moist paint brushes upside down. Wrapping them by plastic or wax paper. Roll the paint brushes as close to the cut-in areas as possible to prevent hat banding. Get the perfect residential touch-up with the right paintbrush Christmas 2021 painting doesn't want to be an ache when deciding on the equipment and objects you will want to end the job like a pro. You don't have to spend an absolute fortune on the quality package in the keep either. With a few little recommendations on how to figure out the first-rate brushes to use, you'll be portrayed in style and revel in an end that you'd frequently pay an expert to do. Paintbrushes come in a range of sizes, types, bristle substances and tip types. Better pleasant brushes can frequently suggest you will cease up with a higher and cleaner seem to be than a less expensive brush. Finding the proper stability will be up to your price range at the give up of the day. However as lengthy as you continue to be alongside the strains with these tremendous tips, you will be playing some of the most effortless smudge much less portray in your life. Types of brush bristles that you must concentrate on earlier than painting, natural bristles. Generally made with animal hair and provide blessings in making use of oil-based paints. These brushes have breakup ends that permit the brushes to preserve greater paint and provide a better even texture when the usage of oil-based paints. They are frequently extra high priced to purchase, however provide supreme floor insurance with a lack of striping alongside the brush stroke. Nylon brushes. These brushes are much cheaper to purchase than natural hair brushes and offer advantages in the application of latex-based paints. Nylon is more durable than natural fiber and so will last much longer. Polyester brushes. These brush bristles are some of the cheapest brushes available. Hold a decent amount of latex paint and hold their shape better due to the fiber being stronger. The final part of choosing the right brush is to select the tip style of the bristles. These come in a variety of styles such as squarely cut bristles for applying paint over large areas or used in thicker trim situations, as well as the thin angle sash brush which is perfectly adapted for filling in edges and corners. Along with knowing the advanced tips of painting your house like a pro, you also need to be smart enough choosing different painting tools and brushes. Whatever brush you choose for your painting work, ensure that the brush is suited to the type of paint you are using. GSB Paint Tools Company Limited is a professional manufacturer of decorative paint tools. Having almost 20 years experience in researching and developing different decorative paint tools,
Our team provide professional paying tools. Organized approach to delivering professionalism to any project large or small. We bring years of experience and industry knowledge to every job we complete. So you can be sure you'll end up with a quality finish completed on time and on budget. We also have a detailed understanding and experience in dealing with our clients to enable jobs to run smoothly with great attention to detail and minimal disruption to our clients. A lot of our business comes from referred customers with whom we work hard to maintain a strong business relationship. GSB ambition is to provide our customers with the widest range of DIY paint tools or professional paint tools products in accordance with our best prices policy backed with the best service. Our team members are the heart and soul of our business. Our team's guiding principles are integrity, respect, teamwork, achievement and innovation. Our guiding principles are the keys to our culture and to achieving our vision. We pursue sustainability within our operations by striving to make them socially responsible and environmentally aware and economically viable. We seek to lessen our environmental impact in ways that are measurable including achieving better and more efficient use of resources, ensuring our suppliers operate sustainably and ethically, encouraging and educating customers about environmentally friendly alternatives, and focusing on the reduce, reuse and recycle waste management principles. We value our team members' contributions, recognize and reward their efforts and provide a fun, satisfying and safe workplace. By living our values and operating sustainably, we will continue to build the best and earn the right to serve our customers tomorrow and into the future. Our team members are the face of GSB and provide friendly and helpful service. Whilst we're larger today, we have kept a family feel and still have fun. We have a high retention rate with many long-term team members. We regularly ask our team for feedback on how we are doing and how we are living our vision and values. We truly care for our team and take our responsibility to provide a safe, secure and rewarding environment very seriously. Make a paintbrush Christmas decoration 2021 Christmas season. Forget buying new decorations. See it's time to make your own. DIY paintbrush Christmas decoration is the perfect Christmas craft project for the kids, allowing them to express their creative side while also producing unique ornaments for your home. With this project, paintbrushes are transformed into characters like the Grinch or traditional festive figures such as Santa and a snowman. But the brilliance is they can be transformed into whatever you like. Whether your kids love Confucius and Ultraman, dinosaurs or dogs, they can create their very own paintbrush characters to decorate the home. These Christmas ornaments can be used to adorn the tree, as a table setting or as a wider part of your Christmas decorations. All you'll need are some wide paintbrushes see usually used to paint a wall see and some common craft materials, including paint, glitter and felt. You'll be feeling the Christmas spirit in no time. Step by step 1. Select your paintbrushes and paint. Start by selecting the paintbrushes and colors of paint you'd like to use for this DIY project. We suggest using wider brushes see what you would normally use for painting a wall see with wooden handles. It's important that the handles are wooden as the paint needs to stick. For this project, we're going to use four different brushes too. Prepare your brushes and area before you paint anything. It's best to lay something down to protect your working surface. If any of your handles have barcodes or labels on them, use some sandpaper to remove them before painting. 3. Paint the handles. It's time to paint the wooden part of your paintbrush. Don't worry too much about going over onto the metal part of the brush because we'll be adding felt or decorations over the top of the line so you don't have to be too careful. Today, we're painting a Santa, Grinch, Santa belt and snowman. Paint three of your paintbrush handles red. These will be your Santa, Grinch and Santa belt. Paint the handle of the last paintbrush blue. Leave all to dry. 4. Add more decoration now that the top half of the brush is dry. Add to the bottom half, the bristles. You will have to be more careful with your approach, as you don't want to get paint on the dry half. These Santa doesn't need any extra see it's ready for decoration. We're going to add masking tape to the metal part of the brush, and paint the tape and brush green. Painting the tape saves you doing multiple coats on the metal, and it's easier to draw the face on later once dry. For the Santa belt, add black multi-purpose tape over the top of the silver part of the brush. Add the glitter to the bristles of your snowman brush. Leave all your brushes to dry 5, 
Add embellishments now that all the paint has peeled. We'll insert some eyes, fun stickers and felt to bring these guys to life. For the Santa brush, hide the wooden part with white felt to give Santa a hat. Before you hook the felt to the brush, cut a hole and poke through some decorations. Secure using PVA glue. Finally, add eyes and a red palm nose below the felt. On top of the bristles, add a thin line of white felt to the top of the metal part for the hat. Secure using glue. Add green pom-poms to the length of the handle. Draw on lines for the face with permanent markers. You'll need black for the face and white for the eyes. For the Santa belt brush, add stick-on gems in a rectangular shape to form the buckle. For the snowman, add felt over the entire metal area and secure with glue. Then mark the snowman's eyes and mouth on the felt using the permanent marker. Add a carrot-shaped nose using a little orange paint. Finally, create a hat for your snowman using the blue pom-poms and leave all your paint brushes to dry 6. Display your artwork once everything is dry. Thread some ribbon through the hole at the top of the handle and tie to create a loop. Use it to display on your tree or around the house. We're going to use ours as table decoration and as place cards for our Christmas table. 73 Christmas Drawing Ideas in 2021 Pinterest is also your source of creative inspiration. I guess you will love all the holiday crafts squeezed in early this year. I started way before I usually do, but I have been able to enjoy them in my home that much longer. Mixed media art involves mixing two or more artistic mediums into one piece. We use paper, stamps, and stencils layered together, but there is no limit to what you can do. That is the fun of it. When you use the old book of scrapbook paper that is used for your color inspiration for this project, it's a little muted and pink. Not the first colors you imagine when you think of Christmas, but the end result is maybe one of our favorites. All the staff of GSB Paint Tools Company Limited wish you a Merry Christmas in advance.